Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you JavaScript iterables and iterators. This video was inspired by a blog post by Fabrizio Matti, which is available at the URL shown here. ECMAScript 2015, also known as ES6, introduces two new concepts, iterables and iterators. In this video, you'll learn how important these concepts are and how to make use of them. Iterables are objects that implement the iterable interface. In other words, they expose a default iteration method which allows them to define or customize their iteration behavior. Here are some examples. The for of statement accepts any iterable object, thus providing a uniform iteration syntax to different data structures by making use of the iterable interface they implement. So what is this iterable interface? An iterable object is any object that contains a symbol.iterator method. In the previous examples, we were implicitly making use of the symbol.iterator method inherited from the object's prototypes. Several data types, such as array, set, string, and map, define a default iteration behavior, while other types, such as object, do not. As previously mentioned, the iterable interface allows defining and customizing of object's iteration order. For a quick example, we can borrow array's default iteration behavior to make array-like objects iterable as shown here. Adding a symbol.iterator method to an object makes it iterable, but the method must return an iterator object which is responsible for the iteration logic. Iterator objects are objects that implement the iterator interface. In other words, iterator objects must have a next method that returns a result object in this format. The first call to the next method returns the result of the first iteration. The done property signals when the iterator has been exhausted and no more values are available. Here's an example to illustrate iterators. Now that you have a better understanding of iterables and iterators, let's create our own iterable objects and customize their default iteration behavior from the ground up. We start by creating a plain object using the object literal syntax. It contains a symbol.iterator method defined using a combination of the computed properties and shorthand methods. Because this object has a symbol.iterator method, it's an iterable object. The symbol.iterator method implements the default iteration logic for the object. That is, it returns an iterator object and holds the state of the given iterator. The object returned by the symbol.iterator method contains a next method, Therefore, it is considered an iterator object. The next method is implemented using an arrow function, so the this inside of it references the same object as the this used for the symbol.iterator method invocation. The return value of the iterator's next method contains the value of the iteration and whether the iterator is done. These are defined in this example using the shorthand property syntax. The for of will call the symbol.iterator method on the iterable passed in and iterate over the returned iterator by calling its next method on every iteration and passing the results value property to the loop body until the next method results done property is true. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Fabrizio for the inspiration. Check out jsrocks.org for other articles related to JavaScript.